Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kostuk Sharma, EWS Certified Solution Architect and Developer. This video is in continuation of my previous video. So if you haven't watched it, please watch it first as many points are connected to that video in which we are going to discuss what is Terraform, what is infrastructure as a code and what were the challenges we were facing with the traditional or the legacy approach. As already discussed, Terraform is an infrastructure as a code tool means we are defining our IT infrastructure in form of code and to write a code we need an editor where we can edit our infrastructure code. So in our case we are using Visual Studio Code as our code editor and I am going to give you reasons why we are preferring VS Code over other editors like Notepad++, Visual Studio or any other which you prefer. VS Code is a very lightweight as compared to other editors like Visual Studio or any other heavy editors. Some might argue that Notepad++ is very lightweight compared to Visual Studio Code but VS Code has additional advantages of add-on plugins or extensions which extend its capability as a code editor. It easily get connected with Git and other DevOps tools and it is compatible with almost all languages and can be easily customizable. So without further delay, let's start and install the VS Code properly. So I have already opened my browser. And in any of the search engine, type Visual Studio Code. Just go to this Visual Studio Code download. Go to this link. I will provide this link in the description as well. So it's code.visualstudio.com slash download. So this is the default Visual Studio download page. You can see it's in free and open source and it can be integrated with Git and you can install the extension as well, which we already discussed. And you can download the VS Code installer on the basis of your machine. Just like I am using Windows machine. So I will download the Windows installer. If you are using Mac or Linux, then you can download the installer respective of your OS. But as an enthusiastic developer, I want new features to be available me as soon as they releases. So if you scroll down a bit, here you can see that want new feature sooner. So here is an insider bit. So just click on it. So there is a Visual Studio Code Insider which get the releases each day and it contains the latest feature but if you want to download the stable version you can download that procedure will be very similar and I have 64 bit machine so just click on 64 bit and it will take you to the page and download will be started in a second so our download got started I will fast forward the video till 100% of the installer get downloaded so now the VS Code installer get downloaded. I have just opened it. So it is asking me regarding the license agreement. So just accept it quickly and move ahead. So in the next section, it is asking to select additional tasks. This is a very important step and you cannot do this after you install the VS Code. So I suggest you to watch this section very carefully. So the first checkbox is regarding the creation of desktop icon. I generally prefer my desktop to be very clean. So I didn't check it. If you want, you can definitely go for it. The second section is add open with code insider action to the Windows Explorer file context menu. This will add open with code in your context menu. What is context menu? I will tell in the later part of video. Second section is add open with code insider action to the Windows Explorer direct context menu. So you have to select that and uh, select this one as well. So VS code will automatically detect the support file types and it will open in the VS code. And also don't forget to check this box as well uh, because we want to add it to the path. So what this will do, it, it will allow you to run VS code from any of the directory uh, when you are using CLI specifically. So you can run from any of the directory if this checkbox is done. If you haven't checked this box, then you can run VS code only from that directory in which you have installed the VS code. So just click on install and it gets started to install them. So now the setup of VS code insider got completed. Let's click on finish. So now we are on the welcome screen of VS code and uh, our VS code installation has got successful. So now if you go to the file explorer or this PC and you go to any directory just like this and then you right click on it. Here you will see an option with open with code insider. So this is what we selected in the beginning of our installation. So this menu is known as context menu and you can see the option open with code insider is now available in the context menu. 
so before we move ahead i want you to enable two three things just go to this files and select this auto save so what it will do it will automatically save whenever you make any changes even you make changes of a single word it will automatically save it so in case of any power backup or any interruption uh, it will automatically go to save and uh, as i already said it has uh, features of extensions or add-on plugin so you go there and just search for terraform and install this extension hashikov terraform one uh, which is officially from the hashikov itself so install that i already installed it so that's why i always prefer to work with the vs code uh, because of these extension so what it will do so it will connect with the terraform language server which will allow you to the code formatting syntax highlighting and intelligence and it basically validates your syntax continuous also apart from the extension vs code has facility of inbuilt terminal so let me show you that so just like let me create a new file so now suppose i have written my terraform script here i have written the infrastructure as a code here and now i want to execute it so to execute that i want to uh, write the terraform apply command but where should i execute that command so for that we can use the, this inbuilt terminal facility of vs code so just go to this terminal new terminal here you can execute your command terraform apply so this way you can execute your terraform command we will discuss more detail in the our next videos so this is a basic overview of vs code why we are using vs code and how you can install vs code with the full capacity i hope you like this video so don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon see you in the next video